Hi, Michael here. I started a new category on my channel. Uh, I'm calling it SiteQuest. Well, I started thinking about it as site tracks, but I think SiteQuest sounds a little bit better. The intention is for me to be able to put up videos that are not exactly Codename Colossus project videos, but are loosely related in a way uh, which I think some of the subscribers to the channel might enjoy. The first side quest is a bit of a dumpster dive. I got this uh, uninterrupted power supply for really cheap. Uh, it wasn't working, and I managed to get it to work. Have a look. This is what I got. The APC ES500 uninterrupted power supply. Uh, this is APC's entry level model. And they made a lot of versions of this over the years. This one is quite old. It's 240 volts with the universal output sockets that can accommodate our local UK style plugs. So the guy sold it as is. He mentioned it was not working and it did not power on. I'm now going to crack it open to have a look. The next bit have been sped up. Apparently this was specifically made for the Singapore market because it's got the distributor's address uh, embossed on the back plate there. And that's the battery. Uh, most of the weight is the battery itself. I'm going to just yank it out. BB battery. So this is not the original APS supplied battery. So that somebody's uh, changed the battery on this unit once before. I'm just going to take out the uh, PCB board to have a look at the components there. This bit is, was pretty hard to unplug. Okay, got that out. Okay, I think I found the problem. It's uh, a couple of these capacitors here are bloated, so that might be why um, they're not working. Just gonna change out those capacitors and see if I can get this to work. Just having a look at the rest of the board. Every, everything else looks pretty good except for these two capacitors here. Probably just change out all those three capacitors at the uh, power input. BB battery. Let's, let's look at this. Yep, that's a really old school multimeter here. Yeah? A slight reading, but yes, yeah, less than one volt, so I think the battery is definitely dead. I cut out a lot of the uh, soldering footage because of my really terrible soldering. And that was the first capacitor that got out. 2200 microfarad, 16 volts. This one was bloated. And this is an example of my really terrible camera work with my tripod over my shoulder, so I really can't really tell what I'm shooting. Uh, 47 volt, uh, microfarad, six, uh, 63 volt capacitor there. In the end, I took out the last capacitor, the 3300 microfarad, 16 volt capacitor. It wasn't blown, but I, I decided to change it anyway, since it was part of the same uh, part of the circuit. Uh, blown capacitors is a very common fault in electronics and they can be fixed really cheap. I mean these three capacitors cost me like a dollar plus two dollars. And and usually um, yeah you might throw out a piece of electronics because of something that can be fixed with two dollars. Even if you don't know how to solder I'm sure it's worth buying a friend lunch to fix it for you. I once managed to save a uh, computer monitor uh, just by swapping out the capacitors. I had swapped in the capacitors but they weren't working so I figured that this circuit needs the battery to, to complete the circuit. 
So I got the battery, uh, about 20 US dollars. Uh, Unicell, this is a local company, and I got the bigger size, 9 amp hour. So hopefully I get a little bit more uh, uptime with the battery, maybe another minute or so. This bit is sped up. Plug it in and see if it works. Oh yes, it beeps, so it's working. I'm not going to show you the bits of me screwing this back on. Uh, but it's working now and I'm actually using this UPS to uh, protect the PC in which I do most of the work for Codename Colossus on. So this is why this is part of the side quest for Codename Colossus and, uh, and, and why I wanted to make this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. So hopefully the side quest videos in the future will be equally interesting for you.